goodness. Really, really sorry about that, guys. Here's hoping the second time's a charm. <laughs> Ugh. Got better signal. Everything seemed to be working okay. Hello from Poland. How's it going? I really, I really apologize about all that. I was hoping uh, I'd keep with my theme of playing in various weird spots from my home, but I guess the car is off limits, <laughs> at least where it's parked anyways. Oh, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Ugh. Does it seem to be working better, I hope? Hey, 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 cool. Have a drink and a, I can't see because of the mic clip. <laughs> I'll, de I'll need a tall, cool one after all that. Well, since it was so glitchy for you guys, I can just um, count that as a mulligan, and I'll just I'll start over for you. Hope that's okay for you. In case you haven't noticed with the hair, it's raining outside, so I'm a little extra frizzy today. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, shall we? Shake me around now Get so lost and don't know how yeah. And it hurts to care
Say goodbye, don't follow Yay! I think it worked this time. Hey, Gibby. There'll be lots of stuff you like this time, Gibby. It's 90s-tastic, except for the Beatles stuff. Now, Paul. <laughs> Except hopefully you'll hear all of it this time. Whew! After I disrobe a little bit. It's a little bit humid out there. Ugh. Okay. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody surviving? Talk to Spike. <laughs> oh, he's living the good life wherever he is. More Alice in Chains. Yeah, by the way, that was an Alice in Chains song called Don't Follow. It was one of the deep cuts off of Jar Flies. Anyways, here's Paul. How's it going, everybody? Oh. 
So for those that don't know, that was a, a Paul McCartney song called Too Many People. That was the first track off of his solo record, Ram. That was with him and Linda. So yeah, cool. And now we are caught up to new stuff that I didn't have to repeat. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. How's everybody doing out there? Thank you. Uh, for those that don't know, it's as good a time as any to talk about the charity for this time. Um, as many of you are well aware, I'm sure, <laughs> obviously, but uh, there are no, there's no touring going on right now worldwide. And some of the, a lot of the tours are either being canceled or rescheduled, and some of them, like, like the Queen one, is being pushed until next year pretty much a year from now, and uh, I can only speak for people that I know and people in the Queen crew that I'm close with, but uh, it's pretty common knowledge that with all these tours getting canceled and everything, um, all of the road crews are pretty much out of work, and for some of them that are working for touring acts that aren't going back out until... Um, 2021. I mean, they're they're pretty much screwed financially for the time being. So, uh, thank God. I never thought I'd say this, but thank God for Live Nation. But seriously, uh, Live Nation um, started a fund called Crew Nation, and it is geared directly towards all the crew people out there that are out of work right now and will be for months and maybe even the rest of the year. So it's something that's really important to me because, I mean, I've gone on and on about it in the past all the time about how important the road crew is because without them, there's, we, there's no show, you know. There's no tour. There's no nothing. They're, they are just as, if not more important than us. So uh, that's the way I look at it anyways. And uh, this one's for them. And I really hope that whenever we're done today, that's you'll be able to donate what you can. And uh, today is for a great cause as far as I'm concerned. So afterwards, please do what you can. And beyond that, let's just have some fun doing some, some fun tunes. So this next one is the one that uh, I had you guys vote for. And I realize a band like the Pumpkins can be somewhat polarizing. But maybe you'll maybe you'll dig this tune. And this is the one that won. It's called Galapagos. Carve out 
Thank you guys. <clears throat> I think Billy's an incredibly underrated songwriter. So he has so many good songs and can go all over the place, really, as far as style and stuff is concerned. A lot of people, uh, hey, Jana. <laughs> A lot of people uh, can't really get past his voice or whatever, but I think it's unique and really cool. The world would be a very boring place if we all sounded the same. Hey, Jeff. That's right. Chicago represent. Because the Smashing Pumpkins are from Chicago. All right. So I think that uh, I think we've gotten past the buffering woes, I hope. There'll be another blast from the past for you, Jana, coming up. It's for both you and Asha, really. But I know you'll enjoy it. Hey, Tokyo. What does the clip... Sorry, I'm, there's something in front of my phone. What is the clip? I'm guessing you're talking about this, the capo. It sort of basically changes where one is on the uh, on the neck, so you can use same voicings, but it changes the key more or less. And the Alice in Chains and Smashing Pumpkins songs aren't really capoed songs, but since I was tuned down, it just made it easier instead of tuning back up a half step as I sit here and tune back to normal. <laughs> Alright. 
So this next song, I'm going to flip back to the, the fab ones. This is a Beatles tune from the White Album. Although, I think I'd just call it a John, a John song. Because he wrote it. I'm not drinking beer this time. Because <laughs> he wrote it. And it's only him on the on the record as far as I as far as I know. All right, and I have to poke fun a little bit. This is for my friend in Italy because it's basically her name, but without a but not a J. So haha, this is for you. Okay. Half of what I say is meaningless But I say it just to reach you, Julia Julia, Julia Ocean child calls me So I sing the song It's very easy to stumble on that song, <laughs> singing and playing at the same time. That was Julia by the Beatles, and but really, uh, really John. And we're gonna fast forward to the late '90s. I think that was four songs. Yeah. All right. So, I had a great story for whenever we were in the car, but oh well. It's still funny. This next song is dedicated to uh, Jana and Asha because uh, that picture that I posted of Asha for her birthday was taken and that night they drove me home in that car, which was pretty much new at the time. 
They drove me all the way back to Camden because I had a little too much fun that night, <laughs> so to speak. Anyways, this is for them. And this is by a band called Muse. I hope those birds are coming through the microphone. <laughs> it was perfect timing. And of course, Gibby has history with that song too. With me and Asha. All right. Here's that pick. Oh, how's everybody doing out there?
or something about a duo. If there was a way to do that, that would be cool. <laughs> Okay, this is bugging the crap out of me. Give me one second while I move this camera a little bit because I can't read half the comments that are going on here. Sorry, people. There we go, that's better. All right. I was about to say that's enough soft singing for now, but I guess this one kind of starts soft. But, uh... This next one I've done quite a bit in my time. It's always been one of my favorite songs. So, uh, here we go. Say hello to heaven 
never wanted to write these words down for you with the pages of phrases of all the things we'll never do Ooh, so I blow out out your candle and I put you to bed since you can't say to me now how the dog broke your bones there's just one thing left to be said say hello to heaven to heaven yeah say hello to heaven to heaven hey Thank you. <laughs> Glad I saved that one for kind of last. <laughs> As you can imagine. That was Say Hello to Heaven by Temple the Dog. Which, of course, was Chris Cornell on vocals. <clears throat> Let's keep that old 90s train rolling, why don't we? This next one is a song by uh, Foo Fighters. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Oh, yeah. oh, God, I'm not in the right tuning for that. I'll tease you for just a second. I used to know how to play this. That's for you, Jeff. All right. Anyways, Foo Fighters. Yeah. 
just this time Thanks, everybody. Played a little too hard on that one. Not my guitar out of tune. <laughs> Chili peppers. Oh, yeah. I could. I might have to pre plan that one, though. I always liked. Oh, God, I can't do it right now. <laughs> All right. Well, we've come to that point. So there's one more song, and it's going to be. An original from an album I put out called Fallout way back in 2012, 13, I think, something like that. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Oi, aeroplane. Oh. Anyways, this one's from Fallout, and it's odd trying to pick songs like this just to do acoustically because there's lots of stuff going on in a lot of those old tunes but i think it'll work out okay tis gibby it's probably your favorite song too i remember you loved it whenever we finally recorded it but yeah um this is original of mine from my album fallout and it's also on bookend which is Still in the pipeline. <laughs> It'll be there soon. Don't worry, people. All right. This is called All You Need. I'll sit and watch the world around you. It's getting fast as it surrounds you. It's feeding on your good intentions, inhibitions breaking down. I won't 
To bury deep inside you To truth and love that you left behind you The truth and love you lost when you took the drug That made you sick and made you lose your mind Thanks, everybody. All right. It's been a long, long time since I've sang, sung that song. So I was kind of worried about those high notes, but uh, I got almost all of them. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking around. And sorry about the uh, technical difficulties earlier. That sucked, but uh, we made it work anyways, right? But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for sticking around. And um, like I said in, I think, one of the earlier stories or whatever, as soon as, um, well, it should be there already, actually, but as soon as we're done here, um, just go to my page on Instagram. Just go to my profile, and there will be a link for Crew Nation where you can donate. And for anyone who didn't hear me talk about that earlier, Crew Nation is a is a really fun that Live Nation started for all of the uh, crew members for all the touring acts around the world. And as you all well know, touring is shut down world worldwide right now, so that means that they're all out of work. So they need all the help they can get. And anything that you can donate, however much or however little it is, will go a long way to helping them and you know, I I feel it's it's just close to me. They're my they're my bros and my sisters. So uh, and like I told you all, um, touring doesn't happen without them. Without them, there are no live shows. So uh, they're the lifeblood of the touring industry, and they need all the help that we can give them. So anything that you can donate will be greatly appreciated. So thank you all so much. And before we leave, is there any questions anybody would like to ask or just want to chat a little bit before we get before we run out of time? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Tell me about it. That was 
really hoping there was going to be some kind of counter on here so that I can stop the live feed in time so it doesn't delete it. How am I? How are, how, oh, how are the cats? Not how am I, how are the cats? <laughs> they're fine, they're fine. As full of crap as ever. God. <laughs> You're full of it today, Jeff. Have I ever been, have I ever seen Smashing Pumpkins live? I never have, actually. Uh, they did their pretty much reunion tour last, last year, I think. But it, it's kind of the same old story whenever somebody goes out these days. If, if there's a tour I really want to see, I can't see it because I'm already on the road. So that was the case for the pumpkins, so I, I haven't seen them. What did I have for breakfast? <laughs> well, I sat the salad count. <laughs> Thanks, Gib. I'll see you at some point. <laughs> What kind of mug is it today? Well, that would be my Rush mug. You can see the star man there. And it says Rush on this side. But of course it's backwards for you, but trust me, it says Rush. Love you too, Nikki. What's the highest note you have ever sung? Live? Easily the highest note live, and really it's a little bit past my range, so I really have to scream it. There was that time in uh, a couple of years back whenever we did the Night at the Opera tour with QE. The first time we did it, we played uh, pre Night at the Opera music for the first half of the show. And one of those songs was in the lap of the gods with the, you know, the, ah, and that was, that's easily the highest note I've ever had to sing. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. North Carolina, how's it going? Favorite movie? There's far too many, but uh, oh geez, Dumb and Dumber's pretty great. <laughs> my first concert, other than oh god, my very first concert was Motley Crue on the Doctor Feelgood tour back in 1990, and I was four years old. Uh, that's a that's a good story because my dad knew somebody who worked security at, I think, the venue. So they managed to weasel their way into where I could meet Tommy. And it was... I was, I'd already... I had just started playing drums already at that point, but I think that was what put the nail in the coffin about me playing drums. <laughs> it was... It was fate, <laughs> I guess. What do I do in my free time that's not music related? Well, um, music's pretty all encompassing for me, so I'm pretty boring in that sense. I have been reading a lot. December 1980, what career I had? Just being able to see Queen with Freddie at all is already on the jealous scale for me, so kudos to you. <laughs> Mom and Dad saw Queen in the late 70s. Uh, I always get it mixed up. I think they each saw them twice, and one of them saw Jazz in the Game. Uh, something like that, I can't remember. The tours were Jazz in the Game were the ones that they saw. Not playing Animal Crossing. No, not yet. <laughs> if I ordered it, it would probably take a month to get here anyways, since Amazon's really slow at the moment. Yep, just coffee. With a teaspoon of sugar, and that's it. 
hot space. Yeah, you probably saw them in New Orleans, huh? What books am I reading at the moment? I, <laughs> I guess I was inspired by being in New Zealand on the last tour a couple of months ago, so I've been plowing through the Lord of the Rings books again. And I also read uh, Steve Gorman's autobiography. He was the drummer for the Black Crows. And that is, uh, that is uh, quite a read. And Prozac Nation's in there. I'm waiting on, uh, oh, what is it? Because Amazon sent me an empty package of, a few days ago. Uh, Snow Leopard, I think is what, what it is. Yeah. But I haven't gotten it yet. Tiger King. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. Have I ever read Outlander? My mom loves those books. I've never read them. They watch the TV show, too. Works tour. Pretty cool. Nope, I still haven't gotten it. Um, it took a month after I ordered it, and then the package arrived a couple days ago, but it was empty. So I had to file the whole report thing with Amazon and now it's going to be another two weeks for it to hopefully get here but uh looks like the counter is running down so uh thank you all and like I said as soon as we're done just go to my uh profile page on Instagram and the link to download every or download the link to donate to Crew Nation will be there and please give what you can and thank you all so much, and I'm going to try to cook up something cool for you again next week. Take care, everybody.